My name is Lieutenant Colonel Lee Roger Wolfgram, and I am a storyteller. And this is a story of comrades. Good morning, fellow soldiers, fellow officers. Uh, this morning, I'm going to be giving a concept of the operation briefing, briefing. Now, execution of the operation is that I will fly from the United States, uh, from Minneapolis to Chicago, from Chicago. This is the to story Warsaw. of Comrades from in Warsaw, Arms. From Warsaw, I'm going to uh, fly into Romania, and from Romania, I'm going to take a bus into Moldova, and from Moldova, a bus to Odessa where I'll perform a link-up operation with Lieutenant Colonel Boris. And then we are going to extract them back through the border uh, into Moldova. And then- Let me tell you the story Romania, about Lieutenant Hungary, Colonel Boris. Czechoslovakia, Germany, and then to the Netherlands is our ultimate destination. One last quick note. If you're interested in knowing that, you'll notice that this map for um, purposes of I guess orienting you to the map. This is a 1953 map. This is the Iron Curtain. These are the countries that were formerly under the Soviet Union, and that's why this area, there's so much attention to this I area. I briefed this mission in the event here, that I didn't from return. from Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania, Poland, Czechoslovakia, which is now Czech Republic and Slovakia, Hungary, Romania, Moldova, and Bulgaria. All of those countries in 1953 were all under the rule of the I Soviet had a Union. And now all of them, with the exception of Belarus, um, all of them are friendly to the West. So this map now has moved to this new line of I was going to get democracy. Boris out. And that is what the battle set is um, kind of leading to this conflict. And that's why you see Poland is so concerned because they border this area here. Um, and all these other smaller Save his countries, valuables. they don't have significant armies. It's quiet in Odessa, and I will be leaving here within the next uh, 24 hours. Phase one has begun, the deployment phase. We're currently, I am currently at Minneapolis, uh, waiting a flight to Chicago, from Chicago to Warsaw, from Warsaw to Yassi, and of course from Yassi we'll be on ground transportation. So here we are at Minneapolis, and uh, we should arrive um, in about 27 hours. Stoliki są złożone, a fotele znajdują się w pozycji pionowej. Na czas lądowania wszystkie okna muszą być odsłonięte. Przypominamy, że w czasie lądowania laptopy i inne większe urządzenia elektroniczne muszą być odłączone od pokoju. In 2003, I served in the multinational division in central Iraq. I served with 21 other nations, and officers of all of these countries had a combined mission. I built a bond with these soldiers that has lasted my entire life. From here, we're going to go to Chisinau, and from there to Odessa. So that's the plan, boots on the ground. I will keep you informed, and this is what it looks like at the bus station in Romania. I'm going to meet Lieutenant Colonel Boris, get his car Pretty and valuables back Eastern to Holland. European, actually. So, um, where his family is with update, another colonel and, uh, that when I we get served to with Chisinau, I will, we were, uh, I'll update like further. Years ago. But the bond remains just as strong as that day. So I'm here having a, a drink, and tomorrow morning then I'm going to catch the bus to Odessa. But I'm talking with some of the people here in uh, the bar, and they have the same sentiments that we do as far as uh, Putin sucks. I guess that's the uh, that's the word on the street. I, I'm going to ask Alex here in a minute. I often go to local places to find out what the sentiment is one way or another. Hey. Alex. He Did didn't want to talk what, about what it on camera. About Putin? <laughs> Putin. Because in Moldova, there are still Soviet troops in his country. So I got up at zero dark 30 this morning, and now I'm on the bus to Odessa. And um, we'll uh, update you when we get to the border.
This was one year ago today. I was going into a war zone when others were coming out. I'm now crossing into a combat zone. I can see armed guards and I know now this is a familiar feeling to me. I get to Odessa and clearly this is a fortified area. I recognize all the signs of a military fortress. Anti-tank obstacles. Just as it was in 1941. This sign reads, free food for soldiers. But I'm going to eat with some soldiers I've eaten with before. Some of them I've never even spoke their language. But our bond is still strong to this day. <laughs> for victory. For victory. These men put their life on the line with me in the past. Now we reminisce. Memories of 20 years ago. But a conflict brings us together again. And Gerald. Gerald, look at this. Over the years, we've stayed in touch, met with each other every few years. You're toast. And danger isn't even on our minds. Okay. Just loyal friends. With peace. Yeah. With peace. Yeah. After the war in Thailand. We're going to Thailand after the war. Thailand after the war. But soon, something changes. Uh, so oh. you, you don't need uh, any like a uh, luxurious hotel you can you would sleep uh, on the beach oh yes <laughs> Lob lobster and uh, yeah. we're coming yeah, yeah. <laughs> luxurious uh, meals and so on yeah omars uh, omars lobster <laughs> yeah you guys are coming <laughs> so the air raid sirens are sounding we've uh, heard air raid yeah. sirens before yeah. we react differently than other people I think the if we weren't soldiers, we'd be over. running from the basement. There was explosion. All right. Well, there was explosion, so we'll have to see what happens now. During the evening, we can see anti-aircraft explosions. So the great European adventure across country begins. But we're going to get all That's his stuff out of here. That's going to be our mode of transportation as we head all the way from Eastern Europe to Western We go across the border and all of these people are just happy to be in a refugee camp. The lines are for hours. We have a long road ahead of us. But we're going to drive straight through 27 hours until this, what it's all for. A tear comes to this old soldier's eye. As I see my dear friends, we would all give our lives for each other. Just like 20 years ago. And now, Lieutenant Colonel Gerald's family is caring for Lieutenant Colonel Boris's family. They're safe now. And Lieutenant Colonel Gerald shows his leadership around the world as we pour the foundation for a new flag.